In this Webflow tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a multi-step form using a free plugin called Formally. In this first example website, briefme.io, we can see in the homepage hero section, we have a form right here, which allows you to upload a file as well as select from a dropdown. You can also hit continue to proceed to the next step of the form. And once you go to the next step of the form, you can see there's a go back button, which takes you back to the first step. And you can only submit the form once you fill in the required details like so, then the submit button gets activated. Let's go ahead and build this in Webflow. So I'm currently now in Webflow and I just want to explain in great detail how this is going to work because everything is in the setup. So firstly, we need to add a form block and we need to just analyze what a form block is. This is for the absolute beginners. So if I hit a Z to open up my layer panel, I'm gonna go ahead and pin this layer panel right here so you can always see it. But whenever we add a form block, you'll notice there's actually three elements inside this or three div blocks or three children. First is form, which is the main div that contains all the active items. The second one is success message. And the third one is error message. So if you actually hit the form block right here, then head over to settings on the right hand side where it says state, you can see normal is the form, success is the success message and error is the error message. So that's why there's three separate div blocks in this case. So firstly in the form, once you add this in, you'll notice that by default, there's a form labels and form fields as well as a submit button. Just for this example website, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the email address and I'm just gonna leave everything remaining. But you'll notice if you hit the plus icon, you can see all the elements are here. The label fields, the input fields, the file upload fields, the text area, the checkbox, the radio button, the select, as well as the form submit button. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and inside the form, I'm gonna go ahead and add a div block and I'm gonna go ahead and give this a class of form-item. And in this form that dash item, I'm going to go ahead and add some padding and I'm going to put a background color of, let's say gray. And I'm also going to put a radius of nine pixels. So in this specific Webflow tutorial, it's not about styling anything. I'm just going to show you the premise. So once that's done inside this form item, I can go ahead and just add, let's say a heading and I'll go ahead and change this to step one. Then in this form item, we can go ahead and just add whatever you like. So in this case, I'll add a text field with name. Then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this form item right here, copy and paste. And then below that, I'm going to go ahead and rename this to step two. And maybe I'll change the text field to email. Finally, I'll add a third step by copying the form item, pasting it in, putting step three. And maybe in this case, I'll put what is your favorite color. And I can go ahead and hit the plus icon and I can go ahead and add a drop down or select right here. And this will allow me to add different fields. So double click in it, you can go ahead and change it to orange. And it's very important that we also add assign values. So right here in this select, you wanna make sure that it actually has an appropriate value because once the form submission gets sent, this is what actually appears on the email. So I'm gonna go ahead and put orange, second choice, green, and make sure I put the value and maybe the third choice, I'll put purple, value, purple. And then in the second step, it's also important to just make sure that all the form fields are actually appropriately named and tagged. So for example, in step two, this text field right here is email. Right now by default, it says name two. This is extremely bad because again, once the form gets submitted, it actually will, the user will get, the, the admin will get very confused because they'll get an email saying name two with an email. So really this should be renamed to email. And where it says type, it's important to select the appropriate one. In this case, it's email. And you can also make sure that if you want this to be required or not, that way it automatically allows you to go to the next step. So if it's not required, you can actually proceed to the next step in the multi-step form. But if it is required, it won't allow you to proceed to the next step, which we'll see shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is required. And in this first step one, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to name. And I'm gonna also make this required. And of course you can add whatever text, whatever fields you want in each of the forms in each of the steps. I'm not gonna do that. This is not about styling forms. It's about multi-step form. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just delete everything at the very top. 
And now you can see in form, we have three different form items, which is step one, step two, step three. I'm gonna finally add another div block called step UI. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a link block or you can add a button. So in this case, I'm just gonna add a link block. I'm gonna give it a class of button. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some padding randomly, add a text in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is the back button. And I'm just gonna quickly just style this. And again, this tutorial is not about styling or how to use CSS or anything. So I'm just putting a class and just renaming it. That is back button right there. It is all done. Maybe I'll change it to black. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this button one more time and I'm gonna call this next button. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the underline. And finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a form submission button, which is right here, form button. So it's very important that this third button, the submit button is actually using the Webflow native form button and not a link block or a regular button. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it the exact same class, which is button. Maybe give it a combo class of submit and I can go ahead and maybe change the color from black to let's say red, just for, just for um, sakes. And you know, you can style this however you want. Maybe I'll give it a, a min width of 12 rems and then I'll align everything to the middle. And then what I can do with this step UI is apply flex and push this everything to the side, like so. So now I'm just gonna explain everything. We have form, block, we have a form, and inside form we have three steps called form items in each div block. Then we have a fourth div block, which is called step UI, and it has three buttons. One is the back button, one is the next button, and one is the submit button. Now we're gonna implement the code and everything's gonna work automatic. So let's go ahead and go to formally.com slash docs and let's just follow the steps. So the first thing we need to do is copy this script right here. Go ahead and go to the page settings and paste this into the body right here. Hit save, go back to the docs. And the next step is to enable this and we'll be using attributes. So we can go ahead and copy data form right here. And where, where we wanna add this is the form right here, this form div right here, not the form block. So we can go to settings, go ahead and go custom attributes, paste that in and go back to the docs and copy multi-step and paste that in. Now we move on to the second step, which is adding the steps. So again, everything's using data form as an attribute, but this time it's called steps. So with these form items that we created, in this case, there's three of them, we can go to the settings and we'll go ahead and type in data form. And in the value, we can type in step like so, and we can do this for the remaining two. So step, last one, data form, step. Now that's done, we wanna go ahead and make sure we have the next and back buttons. So again, it's using data form. For the next button, it's next dash button and back button is back dash button. So we can go ahead and go back button right here. Go ahead and add that data form and type in back dash BTN. The next button, we can go ahead and do the same thing, data form and then next dash BTN. Finally, in the submit, we can go ahead and add submit dash button. So click this paste data-form and then submit-btn. Go back to the docs and I can see everything is done. There are a couple more options like adding a progress indicator and other, other things that you can check out with the tutorial on the link, which I'll link in the comment. And there's also even more you can do if you pay for a, a plan, but this is essentially it. I just wanna do a nutshell video. Let's go ahead and test this out by publishing the website and we can see if everything is working or not. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see right now we have step one and you can see the next button is not clickable. That's because we have to add in the required field, which is the name. So I can put Derek Sue. Now it lets me click the next button and you'll notice it has a back button and a next button right here. We can go back to step one and we can click next button to go back to step two. Go ahead and add our email address. It lets us go to the next step, which is step three. Then we can select the favorite color and then we can hit submit, which then submits the form and also enters a success state right here. So that is how you do a multi-step form in Webflow. Again, I didn't really style the form, but as long as you understand the premise of how a form, form block works firstly, how to set everything up, how to use attributes and how to follow the form docs. So I hope you found this video helpful. This specific solution is really, really great for specific client websites, especially if you have a very, very long form list.
Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you found value, please check out my website, derricksuit.com.au slash value. Peace.